Welcome to another moment in the Word. I pray that you've had a blessed time as you celebrated the incarnation of our Lord. And we're going to be looking now in a deeper way at the life of our Lord in the Gospel of John. When we think about knowing God and having a deeper relationship with Him, where would you look? In nature? In prayer? In the Bible? Where, where would you go to find a deeper relationship with God? But maybe a more profound question is, who is God? And how would I know Him? Well, that is what the Gospel of John is about. That the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, that we know God through the person of Jesus Christ. The Gospel of John reveals that to us in a way that we don't find in any of the other Gospels. For instance, the Gospel of Matthew is written to the Jewish people and it begins with the genealogy of Jesus going all the way back to uh, Abraham. But when we go to the Gospel of Mark, we find that that's talking about the beginning of Jesus' ministry and his baptism. But when we look at the Gospel of Luke, we see that that takes us back to the genealogy of Jesus back to Adam, but it begins actually with the ministry of John the Baptist. Here we find in the Gospel of John, John is going to describe who Jesus was when there was, say, no beginning. He begins like this. He says, in the beginning, there's only 24 words in Greek and in Hebrew, but each of these words are extremely profound. There is no the, so it's in beginning. That's very similar to what you find in the book of Genesis. Bereshit bara, Bereshit beginning. Bara, create. Elohim, in beginning, God. Here you find in the Gospel of John, and arcane, and then it's not theos. It's logos, in beginning, word. Let's look at that word in. In means that which is a part of. Know the beginning. Beginning of what? Beginning of time, it's before that. That's why it has no definite article. Beginning of ministry, beginning of redemption, beginning of life, creation, whatever you want to call this, logos preceded. In beginning was. The Greek word for was has two Greek words. There's two Greek words for the English word was. The word that's used here is in. And geneto is the other Greek word. That is the word that's used in verse 1, or chapter 1, verse 6. It says, there was a man sent from God. His name was John. That John had a beginning. The word in geneto, you see the word Genesis in, in beginning. There is a process of which it actually started. But here, this word, in beginning, was that it existed prior. It had no previous beginning. It was. It always was. And now he's going on to describe not only that it was, but it is the Word. It again is not theos. We find him in chapter 1 or chapter 19, verse 13, that he comes on a white charger and his name was called the Word of God. We find in the Old Testament, oftentimes, words are used such as, they will look upon me whom they have pierced, and yet it's not translated, but it's the Hebrew letters, Aleph, Tuf, which is the first and last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. In the New Testament book of Revelation, we find Jesus saying in chapter 1, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. In other words, he's the alphabet. He is the word of God. He is the full expression of who God the Father is. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. That if you have believed on me and the words that I have spoken, then you have life. Why? Because God is life. He is the word. And the word was with God. Notice the word was once again 
It's the word in. It wasn't created. It always was. It was with, and the word with is the word pros. It means toward. It means to have fellowship with. It means to have intimacy with. It means to have association with. It means to be connected with. It has the idea that this word is inseparable to who God is. And the word was God. It's so interesting. You find, first of all, the word was in the beginning. That's eternality. It means it's forever. It's eternal. Secondly, the word was with God. That's personal. And finally, that the word was, was God. That's equal. Actually, in the Greek, it's reversed. It is not the word was with God, but God was the word. And it's interesting that the word the does not exist in the Greek. It doesn't need to. It's not that the word was the God. And nor can we put the article a in there. There is no a in Greek. He is not a God. Instead, he is God. And that's the confession that you and I must make. I must acknowledge that Jesus is God. Otherwise, Christmas is meaningless. But it is the incarnation of who God is. It is the Word become flesh. That's what's so important. And now look at verse 2. It says, The same was in the beginning with God. That sounds redundant, doesn't it? It sounds like he's repeating himself. But actually, he is taking what was said in verse 1 that is incredibly profound and I feel like I'm skipping over much of the other things that are included and just trying to hit the high points. There is so much there. John says, I don't want you to miss it. I want you to understand the same was in the beginning with God. He is saying, Jesus is God. That is the point that you and I must begin today with. No matter what you're dealing with in your personal life, Know that God is with us. Why? Because Jesus took on flesh and dwelt with us. And how can you today say God is with us? Because if you have received Jesus in the flesh and acknowledged that he is God, then he died for your sins and he rose again the third day, then you know his spirit dwells within you now and God is with you. I pray that's the case. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. And again, for the precious revelation that you've given to us of your son, the Lord Jesus, that we might have eternal life. Oh God, we pray that if there's anyone listening that has never received Jesus, has not acknowledged their sin, but acknowledges that there is no life, that they need a new creation, then we pray, oh God, that you might bring them to yourself and that they might confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. In his precious name we pray, amen.